this morning, decided to get into action but don't vex. <laughs> I didn't sleep early last night so I woke up late today and um, since God already told me, you must be coming online. Even if you come late, just make sure you come because there are so many people I have joined with this ministry that gets blessed from him. So don't make them to wait and wait without receiving what God has for them. So I thank God for bringing me again. May God's name be praised. We thank God for yesterday's video. And uh, I want to thank God for the new viewers God added to me. Uh, we are grateful to God. So this is a new week. To, uh, this prayer is new week's prayer. We are in a new week. We want to command the blessings of God on this week. We want to command protection. We want to command guidance, a safe journey through the week. May God's name be praised and may our prayers be answered in Jesus' name. So, uh, let's start with our opening prayers. Father, we appreciate you. We bless your name. Thank you for bringing us for this morning prayer meeting today, even though we are starting it in the afternoon, but um, we have not even started our day yet. Or let me say, some of us have not started it yet, so we are still in line. It is by your grace you have made it possible. Thank you for yesterday's teaching. Thank you for always being there and every day and every time. Thank you for deliverance from the spirit of slavery and hard labor. Blessed be your holy name. We are here today, this morning, a new week, to command your blessings on this week. Father God, please answer our prayer. Lead us, teach us how to pray. At the end of everything, we want all glory to return to you. Thank you for answering prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Of course, we are going to start with singing. <sighs> Is this one that was ringing on mine? Oh, Lord of heaven, and let us see to the of praise and glory be. How shall we make it to? How shall we make it to? Give her all. Give her all. Give her all. We lose what's all our strength. We have our strength. Shall we doubt him? What's ever? To the wind, who give us all? Who give us all? Who give us all? I missed this part. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry, I'm sorry. I should have done it before. I thought I can actually hold it. That was why I didn't put it before the video. So I saw later on that no, 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 I can't do this. Whatever, Lord, we lend to thee, repay the thousand fold will be, then gladly will we give to thee. Give a roar, give a roar, give a roar to thee from whom we all derive our life, our gifts, our power to be. Oh, may we ever with thee live. Give a roar, give a roar. Thank God. Uh, well, like I was saying, I was talking you know, when I started singing this song. I was like, this was a song ringing on my mind, but me, I want to sing like another one, like something more praising. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's sing this song. I want to sing praises because it's a new week. 
the Lord has protected. We didn't even pray this last week, but the mercy of God still protected us. You know, we prayed on new month's prayer like a day, then the second day was new week. We didn't even pray it. And God still protected us. So let's thank Him. My soul is grateful. Look at how God has even blessed us between that time to this time. So protection, blessings, and going safely, coming safely, safe trip, safe journey, everything like that, sleeping safely. Do you know, these past weeks, let me just, not just tell me last week, do you know that some people, were, uh, the prayer meetings that I attend, they say some people will sleep and from there they will have battles. Some will run mad from the dream. Some will even die. Some will even have one kind of sickness or the other from dreaming. You know? But look at us so. We sleep safely, we wake up safely. The Lord didn't allow us to wake up to the land of the dead. We are still alive in the land of the living, giving glory to the name of the Lord. So let's thank Him. It's not by our power, it's not our faithfulness, it's not our prayers, it's not our fasting, it's not anything. It's just the grace of God. It's just because He's God. He said the heavens are telling the glory of the Lord. It's just because God is just showing His glory. We thank him because he has allowed his glory to be manifested in our lives by protecting us, by giving us life and, and not taking it away from us. May God's name be praised. Then another thing we should also thank God for that we are still in Christ. It's not <laughs> Do you know sometimes when, when you listen to people that don't know about God, you you want to believe you want to think, really? So there are people that don't believe in the power of God. You will be kind of sure, like, is it possible? Because you don't know it is possible. Maybe you are someone like me that all, all my life I've grown in the church. So I've always heard the word of God. So when I hear people talking something different from the word of God, I'm like, is it possible? Because like, I tell everybody knows about it. So people that are to know about it, they are not among people that are just saying anything about God. Sorry. And I know among people that are just saying anything. We should be grateful to God. So let's sing this song. Praise my soul. Wait I'm using another song because I know I see this song. So, pray, pray. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's not the one. No. Okay, let's use this song. Praise my soul. To his feet, thy tribes bring ransomed, healed, restored, forgiven. Who oh, like this praise should sing? Who oh, like this? Ah, it's not the one. La 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 Oh, the song I know in Yoruba when I'm trying to sing it in in English, it takes time to get a tune because I'm used to Yoruba singing. Even Yoruba Bible. I'm just learning English. <laughs> okay, uh, how do I sing this now? My God, what should I say? What should I say? It's supposed to be praise my soul. Praise it. No, it's not that one. Praise my soul. I know it's not that one. No. Jesus, Jesus, time is going, it's 10 minutes already. Please teach us what to do. Maybe I should just use that tune. 
Praise my soul. I'm using that tune. Praise my soul, the King of Heaven. To his feet thy tribute bring. Ransomed, ill, restored, forgiven. Oh, like thee is precious sin. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Praise the everlasting King. Praise him for his grace and favor to our fathers in distress. Praise him still the same forever, slow to chide and swift to bless. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, glorious in his faithfulness. Father, like it and spares us, well our feeble frame he knows. In his hands he gently bears us, rescues us from all our foes. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, widely as his mercy flows. Frail as summer's flower, we flourish. Blows the wind and it is gone. But while mortals rise and perish, God endures unchanging on. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise the I eternal one. Angels in the night adore him. GB holding face to face. Sun and moon bow down before him. Dwell us all in time and space. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Praise with us the God of grace. Amen. We thank God. I'm so grateful to God. I'm so grateful to God. We should not uh, be a lie, Maury. <laughs> Can I do it? Oh Lord, bring it. Even what you have done, you forget to say, Father, thank you. Father, thank you. The same zeal you use in asking, you should use the same zeal to thank him. So, to in the in the light of that, you want to read one psalm of praises to say, God, we are thanking you. I'm seeing some psalms here. I see Psalm 111. It says, Praise you, the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great. Sought out of all them that have pleasures daring. His work is honorable and glorious, and his righteousness endures forever. He had made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He had given meat unto them that fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. He has showed his people the power of his works, that he may give them the heritage of the Eden. The works of his saints are variety and judgment. All his commandments are sure to stand fast forever and ever, and are done in truth and uprightness. He sent redemption unto his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Holy and reverend is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding of all the that do his commandments, his praise and joy forever. Mm -hmm. You see what I was just talking about? This is one one I've He said, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding of all the that do his commandments. If you are looking for how to be wise in this world, keep the commandments of God. Anything you do outside that is not wise. So. May God help us. Amen. Let's read this Psalm 107. We will not read everything, but um, I, I know we should thank God. He said, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good for his mercy and joy forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he had redeemed from the hand of the enemy. The Lord has redeemed us from the hand of the enemy. 
and gather them out of the land from the east and from west, from north, from south, from, from the west, from the north, and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary land way. They found no city to dwell in, hungry and thirsty. They are so fainted in them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distress. This is all what God has done for us. May God's name be praised. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to a city of habitation. All the men who praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfied the longing soul and afflicted the hungry soul with goodness. The Lord has filled us, he has satisfied us. As times that any hope is not is stronger than our kill. The Lord comes to you, go on. He has filled us with God's name to be praised. Amen. So I sit in darkness and tell of every man in Africa and Ireland because they rebel against the word of God and contend the of the most high. Death will brought down their hearts with labor and they will to hell. Then they cried unto their trouble. I remember many times when we cried unto the Lord and he heard us and he saved them out of their dreams. Brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and break their bands in song. All that men break for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he has broken the gates of brass and caused the bars of iron in sunder. In God's name be praised. I just finished verse 16 now. I feel like reading it. Too. It's so interesting because, you know, when you are doing something and you are feeling like, ah, this thing is going with my heart. Let's continue. Fools because of their transgression. And because of their iniquities are afflicted. Many times God has afflicted over. He didn't give us over to the enemies. And he still saved us. Their soul aborted, aborted all manner of meat. And they drew near unto the gates of death. Have we remembered those times? What happened in Ukraine recently? The Lord has saved us from the grims of death. The Lord that didn't allow what Putin planned to come to pass. That was why many people were running. It's just... It's because God has um, come true for us. That is why now we are looking at it like uh, it's a small thing. If not for God that has come true as the God of gods, as the Lord of lords, as the King of kings, may God's name be praised. We thank God. He saved us from the graves of death. I, I will read one past day. We were, we were at our wit's end. I like that place. <laughs> like we were at... God, he said that you come through or, or not. Like, is it that you come through or you come through? You know that kind of option. Like, God, I'm at my wit. I have tried all power. I've tried all strength. Me, I've been in that situation many, many times. Now I'm understanding why God has to allow me to go through all this. Uh, because everybody's ministry is different. Let's assume that when I finished school, then things started going fine, 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 fine. God has says, come into ministry. What will I preach? <laughs> what will I preach in the ministry? Nothing. But see how God is leading me on. He started with um, struggling so that I will understand that people are actually struggling. I will be able to talk to people that, yes, God can make you go through this and come out safely. You can be as a witness, but God will never leave you alone. You always come true. All you just need to do is that. Make sure that if God says this, make sure you are doing it. Don't follow the way of the world to come out of a difficult situation. Because God has the perfect timing, a miraculous way to give you that testimony you want. That your heart desires. That is his will for us. So let's continue. Sorry I'm talking too much. <laughs> it's part of praises. Fools, verse 17 again, fools because of their transgression and because of their iniquities are afflicted. Their soul abhorrent all manner of meat and they draw near unto the gates of death. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble and he saved them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. All that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men and let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing. Then they that go down, okay, this is the part. They that go down to the sea in ships that do business in great waters. These see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. 
were commanded and raised the stunning wind, which lifted up the waves thereof. The mount up to the heaven, they go down again to the depths. Their soul is melted because of trouble. Have you found yourself in that situation before? The real tore and fro stagger like a drunken man and are at their wit's end. Hey! <laughs> Have you been in that situation before? Me, I've been there before. <laughs> I remember one of the experiences. My heart has gone like this. Not that it's gone like I was so fearful. And that song, Kiye Si Oloru Kosobe just came. That was the only song of my encouragement that day. The Lord, the Lord was using that song to tell me that I didn't see all this. All these things that, that, that you are seeing around you that is making you so fearful. What was your thinking will happen? come to pass. But it, it was not in the Look at it to it. The Lord has peace and mercy come to pass. That's part of the Bible says he goes. He commanded and make it to come to pass. How did they even quote it? Is it not Challenges. First, it was the death of my immediate younger brother. This is a person that I've known for 20 years. You can imagine. So, and I, I had to separate from him. That day, too, it was New Year. I was walking. <laughs> I saw everybody wearing new clothes, happy, laughing. New Year, January 1 of 2012. They were laughing, they were, they were dancing. I was like, why is everybody dancing? What's happening? I, I was not feeling what people were feeling. Have you been in that situation before? People were looking at me when this thing happened in Ukraine, like, why am I so hard-hearted? I'm hard-hearted because I have been in a situation that I was the only one feeling the pain. Everybody was smiling, everybody was laughing, rejoicing. I didn't understand why they were laughing because I was going through pain and they didn't understand what I was going through. And God brought me out. I was at my wit's end and God brought me out safely. So now you think now that everybody is feeling something and I already know how to come out of a situation even when people are not feeling it by going to God, you think I will suddenly forget that God? When I was going through it, nobody was there with me. Nobody was there to encourage me. Only God, only the Holy Spirit. And that is why at every point in time, during those trying times, I tried so much not to lose the voice of the Holy Spirit. Because I know that is my only encouragement. That is my only suit. <laughs> my only calmness. So when everybody was uh, worried, running, 
The calmness was there. I had to listen to what that calm voice was saying. That voice that always calmed me down when trouble. So it wasn't like a trouble to me because I wasn't feeling it. The Holy Spirit has so much taught me how to rely on Him. So I am giving glory to God. Uh, I know my this is my ministry. Now I'm understanding it better. God has to make me see. I've been God has been teaching me for ten years. Let me just say ten years. God has been teaching me for 10 years yes god has been teaching me for 10 years now the ministry has finally started after 10 years i don't know how big god wants to make it but i'm very sure the ministry has started he had to make me go through all this sometimes i i look at people i look at situations of well, me, God had to make me go start from the ground level. <laughs> I mean, God, why? 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 Can't I... why? 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 looking at myself like I'm far behind and not myself in the front? Oh, be so me, Lord. Oh, look so. My God knows where he's taking me. I can't walk in the same path with those other people. Maybe the Lord didn't have it that they should also be encouraging people like this. Because they have this beautiful, making a lot of money. They don't have to struggle for money. They don't have to struggle for anything. They don't have to wait on God for anything. God, I need this. And God has allowed me to pass through it. Now I'm at a situation that before I even ask now, God has done it. So it's just a time in my life. But I had to go through it. I had to go through it so that I can encourage people. Now, nowadays, I'll still be like, God, I, I think this thing is finishing. Come and see how God will come bring abundance. Like bag of rice. <laughs> like abundance. So much abundance nowadays. That is what God has been doing. And I can't but be grateful to God. I'm so grateful to God. The Lord has turned these things to, to testimonies. I didn't allow people to say, ah, I should trust a God, go, ah, no, 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 I should trust a God, go, but God disappointed that. The Lord, I didn't allow people to say that about me. I, I will always give him that praise, and I'm giving him that praise again today. May God send the praise. Thank you, Jesus. My praise is he won't do. See how that he talks. So that is it. When, when you have gone through it, you always have something to say. Imagine I'm, I'm at a talk show now, or talk conference now. They give me 10 minutes. I have something to say in 10 minutes. <laughs> but if I didn't go through this situation, what would I say? Even I'll just run it up in one minute. But God wants you to talk for 10 minutes. Even if they say come and talk for 30 minutes, I can talk. See, I've almost finished you with 30 minutes now. Now we are in 27 minutes and I've never finished reading my book of praises. So let, let's read. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. I think I get distracted when... <coughs> Blood of Jesus. I have not come on live for a long time. So anytime I come, many things I do, I always say it out. But I will try as much as possible by God's grace to be coming consistent. So that everything I want to say, I'll be saying it small, 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 small in the videos. So it's not packed in one video. So <laughs> he says it's more than ill them. I'm starting from 20 again. I never learned from their destructions. All that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. And let them sacrifice the sacrifice of thanksgiving and declare his words with blessing. 23 now. They that go down to the sea, sheep that do their business in great waters. They see the works of the Lord. He said, When you go through the water, I will be with you. It will not overshine. Maybe we see the circumstances of life. Not to come out without the rational ones. In God's name, praised. Amen. This is the words of the Lord, and it's sworn us in the deep. For He commanded and raised a storm in which lifted up the earth. The mountain began to go against the earth, and so it melted. Because of the real toe and fro, and stagger like a drunken man, and at their wit's end. 
then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble. And he delivered them out of their distresses. He maketh the storm a calm. The Lord had calmed the storm of our lives. And God sent the praise. So that the waves thereof are still. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord had calmed the waves and the storm in Ukraine. Thank you, Jesus. Even in our lives, blessed be your name. Then are they glad because they be quiet. So he bringeth them unto their desired heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All oh, that men who praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also in the congregation of the people and praise him in the assembly of the elders. He turneth rivers into a wilderness and the water spring into dry ground. A fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. He turneth the wilderness into a standing water hmm, and dry ground into water springs. What is trying to say is that when they sing, it's turned the and it's complete. Uh, or again, if you turn it again to a woman, that is true. And then make it the hungry to grow, that then bears it to addition. And so the fields and plant vineyards, which may use the fruits of increase. He blessed them also, so that they are multiplied greatly. And so fry not their cast with the grace. A garnished and brought low through oppression, affliction and sorrow. The poorest content of pomp is also them to wear in the wilderness. Then they had found themselves in that situation before. In the wilderness where you cannot see ways. Hmm. Yes, it is the poor and I fear from affliction. They get in families like the wife shall see it and all these are also his wives, and we observe these things, even they shall understand the loving kindness of the Lord. Thank God. I feel I feel fulfilled that I've praised God. You know, that time I was like, I need to praise God more, I need to praise God. But I think God has accepted our praises. So we are going to just maybe in two words. Father, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. Almighty Father, we appreciate you. You are great. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. Father, you are Jehovah. You are the mighty man. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When I think of all your goodness and your Faithfulness each day, I'm convinced it's not because I am worthy to the sad kind of love that you gave. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I remember and I thank you. Thank you, Lord, for bringing me to a safe land. He said, I was at my witness. That verse 20. And at their witness, then they cry unto the Lord and bring them out of their distresses. It calmed the waves, it make the storm a calm, so the waves thereof are still. Then are they glad they be quiet? So it bring them unto their desired heaven. Father, you are the one who brought me to my desired heaven. Oh, those times, every little minute, I have a dick because of what I was going through. Every little minute. My heart is beating fast. Oh, but to the glory of your name, you have turned situations around for good. Ah, thank you, Jesus. And you have turned it into testimonies. You have even turned it into a ministry. Oh, Father, all the glory will belong to you forever and ever. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus, for not allowing the plan of Putin to be fulfilled in Ukraine, for stopping the battle. I don't know that part. I think it's here. Uh, oh, I know that is the part. It's Sorry, oh. I pray the blood of Jesus. Oh. For God not allowing the plan of the enemies to come to pass in our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Father, all the glory belongs to you forever and ever. Amen. Uh, let's just pray. Let's use the blood of Jesus to wash our sins away. Father, we pray. Father, with all these things you have done, if there's anything, oh Lord, that we stand as hindrance to our prayers. Father, we beg you, use the blood of Jesus to wash them away. Cleanse our heart, O oh Lord. Father, come and take control in today's prayer meeting and to this week. Father, come and take all the glory. Thank you, Jesus, for my answer prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Um, is it Sam? Yes, it's Sam. Our God wants us to pray about for divine help. This week we want divine help. You know, in my dream last night. <laughs> Somebody gave me a good rice. <laughs> that is a lot of things. And another bag of um, this popcorn uh, popcorn meat. Full bag. Everything I touched in that dream, that I touched in that person's house, he was giving everything to me. You understand? And I not added abundance again. So we want God to do the abundance, so do the new week. You need abundance. We have been having some things before. This week it must turn to abundance. The Lord has to do it. Abundance that will take us to the next level. Yes, we are, God has done so much. We are on a level. We want Him to do more. So that we can go to the next level. Look, I was saying, uh, let's say I have a job that, that is paying me like, when you, when you change it to Nigeria, I'm on two million uh, naira in Nigeria now. Now I've not gotten the job, so I know I still need to get to that point. I still need to get there, or maybe I'm collecting four million naira when you convert it to dollars. I'm collecting it. I still need to get to that point, my sister and my brothers. So this week, abundance doors will open. Bim. Every, every gate that has been blocked for all this year, let the bomb of Holy Spirit open it, boom, so that we can take everything that God has for us. This week there must be abundance. Nobody must antagonize, nobody must come against, nobody must. So we need to pray. You understand what I'm trying to say? It's 38 minutes already, but we have to be, we still have to pray. We can't just go like that. Maybe God wants us to do more than 30 minutes. No one. So let's go to verse, uh, Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear. Though the head be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters there uproar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, there is a river, the streams thereof shall make glad the city of God, the only place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of us. He shall not be moved. God shall keep her and that's right ever. The hidden raised, the kingdoms were moved, he uttered his voice, the heart melted. The Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he has made in the earth. He maketh worlds to cease. Glory to the name of the Lord. Unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and caused the spear in sunder. I will exalt in the earth. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Amen. So we are going to use our prayers for the divine According to that vision, as said, God should be in the dream. Blessings are coming in abundance. Before, she they used to give us more. Like that, and I 
salvation, your this is week of divine intervention, divine, divine promise. Nothing must stop it. So we are praying, Father, you are our very present help. Father, this will be our very present help. Before we look up and say, God, please do it. Father, do it. Um, greatness. I don't know. Do you know what is coming to my mind now? Let me just say it. Because this is my, this is my people that listen to me. What has come to my mind now is that maybe there is something I need to pray about before I get a, a job that pays a lot of money. I don't know. But if door is broken, every gate of brass that has stood on my way, pray for yourself too. Every gate of brass, break. Every gate of brass, break by fire. So that I can receive the abundance that God has for me this week. Nothing must stop it. Nothing must come against it. Nothing must antagonize it in the name of Jesus. God be our present help this week. Deliver us from evil. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, God of abundance, you have promised us that this week is our week of divine help. Divine lifting, divine progress. Abundance is in the name of Jesus. All the come and have your way. Destroy all the plans of the devil, all the plans of darkness for this week. In the name of Jesus, arise, Lord, let your enemies scattered. In the name of Jesus, there will be no evil, there will be no problem, Father. The Bible says, Fire go before the Lord and consume all the enemies round about. Let the fire of the go before. This week to consume all the enemies of the Lord, anything that will not make us to be comfortable, will not make us to be happy, or make us to be graceful for all that God is giving for us. Father, let God consume them in the name of Jesus. Somebody promise us abundance this week. Father, Lord, the divine help that will make them come to pass. Father, give them to us in the name of Jesus. Very present in the name of Jesus. This week in the name of Jesus. Father, every door that is stopping and coming against the blessings of God in our life. Father, I pray that this week the fire of God, the bomb of the Holy Spirit, we break the door open in the name of Jesus. Every wall that is standing between us and our progress. Father, let the fire of God bring it down. If you brought down the wall of Jericho, Father, bring down every wall that is standing between us and our progress and our divine visitation this week in the name of Jesus. Father, come and have your will. Oh, Lord, come and take control. Destroy every plan of darkness. Destroy every power of darkness. Thank you, Jesus, for answer prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Nothing must come against our progress. Nothing must come against our Blessings in Jesus' name. The other part says, the very present help, it was talking about protection. She shall not be moved. God shall help her and that's right here. Oh God, this week, if you can tell you don't know, anybody that says wants to cause problem or war with us, Father Lord, break the bars in her, in her sonder. Let me read that please. That's verse 9. He make her wars to cease up to the end of the earth. He break the bow. Father, break every bow of of battle, cause every spear in sonder, burn every chariot in fire, everything that they want to use to fight us this week. Father, break everything, destroy it, cause every war to cease in the name of Jesus. Let's pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, break every boat this week. Oh Lord, cut every bow in sonder, cut every spear in sonder. Oh Lord, burn every chariot in, of, of war in fire in the name of Jesus. Destroy every plan of darkness. Destroy every plan of the enemies to cause us to war this week in the name of Jesus. Every war, anywhere the enemy is planning war, Father, Lord, destroy them. Oh, Lord, send their war back onto their heads in the name of Jesus. Father, destroy every plan of darkness. Oh, Lord, destroy every plan of the evil ones in the name of Jesus. Arise, oh, Lord, let your enemies be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, destroy every plan of darkness in the name of Jesus. Father, go before us this week and destroy every plan of the enemies. In the name of Jesus. Anywhere they say they want to cause war, Father, before we get there, let the fire of God go there and destroy every every battle of war. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my name is and no one the they will have no shoe. Ye, I will not say, you Lord, my name. Oh Lord, you are trapped this week. Oh, 
Lord God gave Pharaoh and scattered them and destroyed them. Let the enemies be destroyed by their own wickedness. Let the enemies destroy themselves. Let the enemies destroy themselves. Let the enemies destroy themselves. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for our Saturday. In Jesus' name, for life. And then the last five points will be put in. But it's not really not as in my mind. You know, uh, I started praying about it. So there are some bad passages we read this week that is still wanted to pray. But so other that I was reading that I thought that I've not finished. All I want to turn this into another prayer meeting, which is the power of slavery. Because there are some there are some people when you are when God is lifting you out from slavery, they will still want to bring you back there. That is what is happening in Ukraine now. Ukraine say I'm no longer your slave. They say no, uh how comes like the days of of um, Pharaoh and the Israelites. If Israelites God said, let my people go, they no, you cannot go. You have to continue to be a slave. But God destroyed him. So we want to pray. But this one will be personalized. We will be praying for Ukraine as well. But let's pray for ourselves so that the prayer can be more effective because I don't know why I have not been coming for these prayers all this while. So I think if I personalize it like this, then I add Ukraine to it to so work more. Ukraine must be free from slavery. And every one of us too, we must be free from slavery. It's not good to be a slave. It's not good. Slavery is bad. You do hard labor and they give you small. And somebody will just be sitting down somewhere, just sitting down, no stress. AC, money tonight. They give the person big money. Can you see? Slavery is very bad. There are even some slaves that do a lot and they will not collect one thing. The spirit of slavery is bad. It's not good. It's not good. And God said there is abundance in this country. But he's eating. We have to call it forth. It must come out. Why is he eating? God must bring it out. God must bring it out. Maybe through these our prayers, God will do it. Everything that belongs to Ukraine that has been taken by the enemies, God will restore it back. In the name of Jesus. So we are going to pray. We are going to start that prayer until we feel it again that God has answered. So it's going to be in the night by God's grace. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to make sure my day is well planned. I don't <laughs> because anytime my day is not well planned, I behave anyhow. <laughs> like I can be in the like. Okay, let me give you an example. I can be on the bed. Don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. So that thing will first of all scatter my day's plan. But if immediately I wake up and I'm like, okay, I need to study. Then I go to study. I feel like I'm productive. You understand? I feel productive. Anytime I feel productive, I can do something else. But if I'm, I didn't do anything, I feel so weak. I feel I'll not be able to do anything. Even prayer accept, I will. The time of prayer, I will use it to begin on that thing. So I pray that this week, okay, in the rounding of our word that, that this week we must be productive. From today, we must be productive. Whether studying, whether uh, working, anything, we want to be productive. We want to feel productive so that we can be able to come in for our night prayers. It's important we come for night prayers. Kilo day. Come on, stop it, mate. Come on, stop it. Go here, come here. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for this morning's prayer meeting or afternoon or new week prayer meeting. We have we bless your name. We have made it possible to the glory of your name. Thank you, Jesus. We have asked you for many things. You have promised us blessings. You have promised us abundance. And we receive it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Father, Lord, we have prayed for blessing. We have prayed for protection. We have prayed that you should cut the bowls of fire, cut the bars, cut the spears in thunder, uh, burn the chariots. Of war in fire, seize every word this week. Thank you, Lord, because you have done it. Glory to your name, Father. We are also praying, please help us to be productive this week, Father Lord. I'm studying, I'm trying to 
build my own, more skills. I have some skills, but I think I need to develop more uh, to change my position, like my kind of job, something like that, to something uh, more, 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 like higher position. Yeah. So God, please help me. I, I need to study more. There are so many things I need to study, but uh, I need you to give me that uh, zeal in my heart to like, okay, I need to do this now. Please, Lord, help me. Give me this week. Make all my environment peaceful, everything peaceful. Let me do things at the right time, the right way, so that I can be able to do what I'm supposed to do and be more developed and more valuable to the glory of your name. And I thank you, Lord, because already have it at the time that you are going to give me a good job. All the glory to your name. Thank you, Lord, because when it is time, nothing will stop it. And it's going to be a very lucrative job. That will stop all my lack and 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 everything. I thank you, Lord, for the blessing that you still continue to show unto me. Oh Lord, thank you, Lord, for abundance that you are bringing this week. Nothing will stop it. Nothing will reduce it. In the name of Jesus, I receive it. In the name of Jesus, and for everyone too that are trusting you one way or the other, thank you because you are going to answer us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for making these prayer meetings possible. Thank you. We have praised you. Thank you, Lord, because this week you are going ahead of us and you are destroying the walls of darkness. Again, we want to pray. Please give us the grace to stand for you, to live for you in this week. To the glory of your name. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. 51 minutes. No, nice. Thank you so much. Have a testimony filled week. Amen. Bye.